Mozzarella is an approachable and fun cheese that anybody can make at home. With the right equipment and the right ingredients, you'll have success in delicious mozzarella in no time. Making mozzarella is pretty simple. You only need a few ingredients. You're gonna wonna get whole milk, citric acid, rennet, some sea salt, and distilled water. The milk is the most important. Check the label to make sure it says it's not homogenized, and you're gonna wanna make sure it doesn't say ultra pasteurized on there. Here's what you'll need to get started. A large mesh strainer, cheesecloth, a large stainless steel pot for us to heat our milk up in, a reliable instant read thermometer. You'll also need gloves, and I recommend two layers for when we're working with the hot water. You'll need a slotted spoon, some measuring spoons, and a measuring cup. To begin making the mozzarella, we're gonna add our whole milk into a pot. Over medium heat, let it come up to temperature, about 88 degrees. While the milk is coming up to temperature, we're gonna add our citric acid, one and a half teaspoons. Citric acid is added to the milk to change the pH level. This will help later on in the process to give you really stretchy cheese. As the milk is heating up to 88 degrees, give it a few stirs every once in a while. While our milk is heating, we're gonna make our rennet solution. You're gonna take two tablespoons of water and add one quarter teaspoon of rennet. Rennet is used to coagulate the milk into curd. There's several different types, liquid and tablets. I like to use the liquid. It's easier to measure and easier to work with. There's also versions of rennet that are vegetable and animal derived. Either one works. Whatever you can find should do well. Once your milk reaches 88 degrees, you'll add your rennet solution. Give it a stir for 30 seconds to make sure all that rennet gets well combined into the milk. As you're stirring, you might notice the milk thickening up. This is the curd beginning to form. Reduce your heat down to low and continue heating the milk up to 105 degrees. Once the temperature reaches 105, you should be able to see the curd form and pull away from the edges of the pot. You're gonna wanna remove it from the heat. Let the pot sit for about 10 to 15 minutes for the curd to firm up and solidify. At this point, you can take a knife and gently score the curd into more manageable pieces so we can get it out of the pot. Now we're gonna simply spoon all of our curd into the strainer. You can gently press down on the curd to get all of the liquid out. You can also use a strainer to scoop out some of the smaller bits of curd still floating in the pot. Set the curd aside for 15 to 20 minutes to allow all of the whey to drain out of the curd. You're gonna to wanna to strain the whey of any remaining curd, add the strained whey back into your pot and gently heat. I like to add two tablespoons of salt. You can adjust this to taste. This is the solution we're gonna heat up our curd with and brine our final mozzarella in. Give the whey a stir to make sure all that salt's dissolved in there. We're gonna remove a few cups of the salted whey and reserve that on the side for later on. The remaining whey in the pot, we're gonna to wanna to heat up to about 180 degrees. Now it's time to spin the curd or stretch it. In a large stainless steel bowl, we'll take our curd and crumble it up into equal sized pieces. Now ladle some of the hot liquid over your curd. This will begin to gently melt the curd together and begin our mozzarella. Let the curd sit in the hot liquid for 15 to 20 seconds. Then use your hands to gently press the curd together. Once the curds formed a single mass, now you can begin stretching. Grab both ends of the curd and gently stretch it apart. Fold it back over itself and continue. If you feel the cheese getting firm, put it back in the hot liquid. You may have to add a few ladlefuls here and there. Once you're working with the curd, you'll notice that it'll turn shiny. This is your mozzarella cheese. Now you can form it into balls. Let it rest in the brine for up to 30 minutes. Homemade mozzarella cheese is best enjoyed fresh, so slice it up right when it's done. You can add it to salads or enjoy it on its own as a great snack with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Fresh homemade mozzarella cheese is so delicious and really easy and fun to make. It's a very neutral cheese. It doesn't have a strong flavor. It's milky, creamy, and everyone will love it. Now that you know how easy it is to make cheese at home, go out and get you some milk and let us know how it goes. You can watch other videos over here 
or you could subscribe right here for future videos. Now get to cheese making right now.